Hi friends, welcome back. So we're talking Beijing Auto Show. Uh, I want to take a look at some of the cars they have on display. I'll share my thoughts and uh, get yours as well. Um, this says here, new energy, new eco, new era, uh, 2024 Beijing Auto Show. And um, boy, they got uh, a lot of cars on display. And um, I want to start with this one and just kind of go through these. This is the Honda. I don't think this is coming to the US market, but not bad. And I would not bet against Honda. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, I think it's called the S7. Um, th this is just a separate one because um, the, the main article that Car and Driver has actually had like 50 some cars in here. And I wanna go through these new cars and uh, I'll share my thoughts on which ones I like and I wanna hear which ones uh, you guys like. And you can share the numbers so we know which one we're talking about the same one. So this first one here is number one. Uh, this is the, I guess, MX. I don't know this brand. It says Zeker MX or Mix. Um, and uh, looks to be, appear to be some sort of minivan kind of design. Um, I, I'm, I've never been a huge fan of the, you know, the soccer mom kind of stuff. Um, but you know, if I were to drive one of these vehicles, this looks way better than a lot of the old traditional uh, minivan designs. Cause I know a lot of people go more into the, like, the SUV, but I, you know, it's not bad. This isn't bad. Um, here's another one here. So what is this? This is an Audi, uh, Q6 L e-tron. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of this and I'm just talking about designs. But but other people might be. We all have different tastes. Like I said, I like to see what you, what you guys think. I, I'm down for the minivan. Not 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 feeling this one. Um, that's the Audi. Uh, this is a Buick. Actually, I've never wanted a Buick in my life. But this this one isn't bad actually. Um, yeah, this is this is a bad. I don't know what that thing on the top of that is. <laughs> I don't know if that's like is that your autonomous driving thing? What like what the heck is that up there? And uh, this front, I, I I don't know. Maybe I don't care for the front that much. But it, but uh, it's no, I don't know. Now, now I'm talking myself out of it. But I'll say it's it's different than other Buicks that I've seen in the past. Um, what's this one here? This is also a Buick Electra L Concept. So this must be the same kind of car, but maybe different, slightly different design. Let's see here. Maybe different color. Yeah, this looks like this looks like a little bit more um, more luxurious one. And actually, this this isn't a bad car. Uh, not my favorite. Um, that's what we've seen so far. But interesting. I like how this recess goes in. It's, it's interesting. I have to see this one in person uh, to see if I would want something like that. Um, but this is something that, you know, we talk about cars all the time. And, and Tesla acts like they're the only car company out there. But it's clearly not the case. Uh, this is a really big, like, SUV minivan thing. A little bit too big for me. <laughs> Maybe that's an eight-seater, I'm thinking. So this is also a Buick, a GL8. Um, and again, I want to hear what you guys, what you guys think. You're down with the Buicks, you're down with the, uh, the Audi or maybe the, um, the MIX. Uh, what's this one? Is this a Neo maybe? No, this is a Geely. Geely Galaxy Starship. So Geely, I believe, is a Chinese brand. Um, it's interesting they got the, like, these things on the top of there. Or maybe that's the door open or something like that. Yeah, that's probably what that is. Um, not a huge fan of this design myself. Um, these sort of like funky looking futuristic tires that would be interesting if we end up driving that kind of stuff in the future. I, I don't know. I'm not into that. Um, oh, this one's cool. So I guess I'm a little bit more traditional. This is a BYD. It says the Song L. Um, wow. Yeah, I guess I guess I have more of a kind of a younger person and maybe sportier taste. Um, yeah, this this isn't a bad looking car, actually. Uh, BYD is actually threatening to come or threatening or, or trying to come to Korea um yeah I, I i like this this is pretty cool it's like a stormtrooper white so so far this is my favorite one i'm curious what you guys think um it depends you know it may have different flavor uh tastes there's another byd so this is this is like um more of sort of your off-road adventure kind of feels what it feels like to me um i i, I wouldn't mind this one either so boy that byd this doesn't look bad yeah, yeah so this one or this one kind of what yeah Boy, both these look not bad if you're going to get this kind of car. I, I, I personally don't don't want this this one um, myself, but I could see people wanting this kind of thing um, in terms of, of design. Yeah, it reminds me of like, yeah, I've seen that kind of stuff before. So that's the uh, Fong Chung Bao, I guess. Uh, what's this one? This is another another BYD. So this is the Fong Chung Bao Bao 5. Oh, that's the Bao Leopard 5. So I wonder if they're just like different trims of the same kind of vehicle. Yeah, and I... Um, People are writing in the community in the comments that the BYDs are, are in Australia already. What is this? What the heck is this? BYD Feng Chung Bao Super 9. Huh. This is pretty sweet. I won't lie. <laughs> this this is like a this is like a speed racer kind of thing, uh, essentially. Now obviously this wouldn't be a primary car when there's like, you know, no storage space at all. This is just, just like a fun sports car thing. This is pretty cool though. Um yeah. I mean if you just want like a sports car. 
I, I, I'm, I'm down with this one. I'd want this in white though. If you're if you're gonna do speed racer, just just go speed racer. And and I, I'm not sure about that. Doesn't look like there's any windshield on that, so that's kind of a weird design. Um, I mean, at least that's, I guess if you just want the wind blowing your face, that's not that practical. Though. I'm assuming this goes fast, but or or maybe it comes up. That would be kind of cool, huh? Interesting. Um, well, it's not bad. What's this? This is the the Feng Chung Bao Super Three. So this looks like a smaller version of those other ones. Um, I, I like these colors actually. So if I were to get a car, I'm, I'm looking at that first white one that we saw. And then I like this one also. It's pretty cool. Um, wow, this isn't bad. And I like how they have a spare tire. It's funny. <laughs> the reason I mentioned that is like, you know, the Cybertruck doesn't even have a spare tire. We talk about this on the channel. This isn't bad. Ocean. What is this? This is another BYD. Jeez. Boy, BYD is for real guys. Um, yeah, this is, this isn't bad i i don't know I, I like that white one first but um and i don't really want a big like ocean thing on my on my car but yeah if, if you really want to like you know go aggressive that something like this isn't bad one wow, the ocean i think i've heard of that one before though um this is a uh chungan nevo i like this paint job on this thing actually so out of all of them so far i, I prefer this color of, of paint um i don't know i i don't know sure what you call this exactly it's not like you're glossy it's like a like more of a matte finish i guess and some people actually do this in black, like your Batman kind of thing. Um, boy, this is not a bad looking car. Now, whether or not, you know, these are mechanically sound, who knows? Um, but I, I, I wouldn't put it past them. I mean, we, we you know, make cars in China already. Um, you know, it's, it's, I mean, we, and we make phones in China. It's not like they can't make them. Um, what is this thing? A Cherry Exceed Stira ES. Wow. Boy, maybe this is my favorite one. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd want this color. Something like this. I'd, boy, I like this. I'd, I'd probably get like a silver. Maybe something like that. This isn't bad though. This isn't bad at all, really. Huh. Yeah. I I, uh, I, I want to see these. These are really cool. God, we were on 14. Okay, so this is like a futuristic. This is another cherry. So this is, um. so BYD was first. So it must be alphabetical. These are the cherry XC08 concept. I, I, I'm not a fan of this myself. Um. But it's better than the soccer mom thing, you know? And, uh, but yeah, you know what? I, I like this one. That's my favorite so far. Okay, I, I changed my favorite, not the white one. It's the green one, the, the cherry. Oh, what's this? This is cool. This is just, this is cherry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it, you know, this, 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 uh, this is a smaller car, I think. What was the other one? Was it, are these both two doors? That was a four door. Okay, okay. So this is like a smaller version of, of that first one. So this is probably, this is probably more, you know, cause I, I actually like this kind of, I like two door stuff myself, more sporty. This looks nice. I like this. What else we got here? Oh, here's a little car, land and air vehicle. Does this thing fly? That's what it says right here, land and air vehicle. Cherry concept. Okay, so this isn't a real thing yet. So I guess they say it's gonna fly, huh? 17, what do we got here? Cherry Jatour Shanghai L7. So this would be one of your crossover kind of vehicles, right? It's not really an SUV, it's not really a car, it's kind of in the middle. Um, and these are actually really popular uh, these days, these kind of things. So, boy, I, I didn't realize Cherry was making these kind of designs. I mean, this is all the, the newer stuff. Um, what is this one? Another Cherry, the Tigo. This would be a bigger version of their SUV. Um, I think this would be popular, not for me though, me personally. Um, that's probably another one. Yeah, it's a Cherry, that's a plug-in hybrid, I see. What else we got here? This is a BYD Denza Z9 GT. <laughs> Interesting. So this is funny how it's like really front heavy and then like kind of a hatchback. Um, and again, I want to hear from you guys, which ones you're, you're into. Oh, look at this thing. This is fun. This is cool. The Dongfang M Hunter. <laughs> so if I was out hunting dinosaurs Jurassic Park style, I would totally be getting this thing. This, this looks like a video game car. Uh, totally not practical. Um, it, it, this, you know, like this is a video game car. That's, that's the best way to describe this one. So um, I, if you're gonna get this, this would be like your third or fourth car, I think. I don't think it'd be a primary, but it, but it's certainly pretty cool looking um, if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> Probably not for me practically. Oh, what about this one? This is the Dongfang Epi 008, okay. This is like your bigger, bigger uh, SUV. Boy, these these guys, these look like decent cars. All these. What's this one? That's interesting. Dongfang Alus Hao Han. Hmm. 
That's like, it looks like another crossover. And again, please share which ones you guys are into. Oh, what's this one? This is, you know, this is like a Cybertruck, actually, if you're into that type of, type of design. Dongfeng pickup concept. So, and, and, and I, I'm not a, you know, it's funny because now I look at these and then I was thinking about the Cybertruck. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Cybertruck design. If I were to go for that kind of design, um, I don't know. I was thinking, like, would I want this over the Cybertruck? I mean, God, would I take the Cybertruck? <laughs> now that I look at it, like, like at first it's, like, kind of cool in terms of, like, futuristic, but, like, practically speaking, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not that great. Um, what's this thing? This is the Hongqi H9. So this looks like trying to go in for a luxury concept. And I was mentioning you guys before, um, you know, when Tesla's cutting prices, it kind of um, d d diminishes their brand from being luxury. I mean, you got a lot of competition in China. There's really a lot. Uh, what is this one? Huh. Oh, okay, so it must be the, the Hong, Hong Chi H9. And this is also one. So they're, they're just different colors. That's a much better color. I'm not I'm not into that two-tone thing. This looks like a luxury car. And it says like V maybe six or eight on this thing. Huh. What else we got? Oh, look at this thing. This this is like totally showy. <laughs> the Hong Chi L concept. Okay, this is a concept car. But look how showy this thing is. That's funny. Huh. That's pretty funny. And then this is like an old person's car. The Hongqi Guya. I, you know what? I, I could totally see government official driving around. This is like a government official mob, mobster kind of car. But this thing is really funny, this one here. Um, yeah, I don't I don't, I don't think there would be a big audience for this kind of car. But you never know in the future. We might go that way. What else we got? So this is the Leap Motor C16. And again, there's a lot of brands um, that ha haven't made their way to the USA. My understanding is that they're heavy tariffs on, on Chinese cars, so it'll be tough for these to come to the USA. Um, they're going to make them, you know, cheaper, and, and they may, um, you know, like I said, mechanically, who knows, it may or may not be reliable. Um, but design-wise, these are much better than than even I was thinking. The Link and Company E07 uh, EMP. I have not heard of this one. Link and Company. Hmm. This isn't a bad design, though. And it's interesting they got like this stuff on the hood here. I don't know if that's like funky headlights or it's kind of like your 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 um what do you want to call it like your, your exhaust pipe thing or whatever you want to call those things. Sometimes I will put it on the front of the car. Oh look at this one. This is totally a superhero car. This is MG EXE one eight one concept. That's totally a superhero car. <laughs> I I feel like if you drive in this one you'd be laying down right. <laughs> Actually, this is pretty sweet, but you know, it's, it's not really practical at all. It's just a superhero car, which which is you know not terrible. Um, well, it's a nice looking car. What's this one? The Netta S E E V. So th this one, and then we there was a, like a silver one that we saw before. I thought weren't bad. So I, I guess I'm kind of I prefer these kind of shapes, a little bit more traditional, um, but uh, still very sleek. I, I mean, the thing with cars, it's hard to come up with like new designs of, of cars. I mean, because like how many you know different ways can you build a, a, a car? Because it, it has to have doors and it has to have windows. And <laughs> well, at least at least most cars do. Like I was thinking, thinking about Tesla, where they try to like remove your side mirrors and stuff like that. Oh, ET7. I think this must be a Neo, right? Yeah, it's a Neo. Neo makes nice looking cars. Um, I know they're losing money though, so whether or not like they get bought up by BYD or something, that's certainly a possibility. Um, or even American manufacturer could come in and, or it doesn't have to be American, it could be a European manufacturer could come in and buy, you know, what if Porsche came in and bought Neo or something like that, why not? Um, cause it's not like they make, I mean, I can see that it's not like they don't make anything. They, they make pretty cool cars. I can see it. Um, oh, this is cool. If you want, wow. Look at this. I got like these lights up here. This is the smart five concept. So smart. If, if you guys correct me if I'm wrong, isn't that, isn't that Mercedes? I think smart is part of Mercedes. I could be wrong. I think so. This is pretty cool. I like I like this actually. So it's funny because like I you know we, we talk about a lot of Cybertruck in this channel, but if you're gonna get like that kind of ruggedy kind of vehicle feeling, I would rather get this. At, at least yeah, this is pretty cool. I like that. Oh, what's this one? X Pang. Oh, flying car. Does that really fly? No. Maybe it does. Arrow HT. This is flying car. Maybe it does. Nice looking car though. I got a lot of cool stuff here, guys. This is a VW ID Code Zero One. Boy, Volkswagen's really pulling out the stops on these. And um, this reminds me of like um, the newer electric BMWs. Uh, I didn't know Volkswagen was working on something like this though. This looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, this this looks pretty good. Um, it's 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 way more futuristic than the other ones. Like 
push come to shove, I would probably go for like the the, the earlier ones that we looked at. There was like a silver one and a green one uh, that I thought was pretty cool. It's more more of that sleek design. But if I were to go more futuristic, this isn't bad looking actually. Huh? VW ID zero one. What's this? I like this color actually. This is a Wuling Starlight. So this would be another Chinese brand. There's a, there's a lot of brands over there. This is a nice looking car though actually. I like this one too. Huh? But you know with cars though you do want to test drive them and see how they handle etc. <clears throat> Another uh, Wu Ling, the red one. Yeah, these these don't look bad. Wow. And um, I like to show you guys this on this stuff because you know some people have no idea. Wow, look at this. Oh yeah, yeah, the Xiaomi. This might this might be a real car. The Xiaomi S S U seven. They they got a ton of pre orders. They they um, I remember we I told you guys this one. The the original one that they showed was like in a greenish, which really stood out. But when you go for more like more of a traditional color like this, but it's a nice looking car. I I, I like this. This this is nice. It, it, yeah, you, you you can't deny these things, man. God, he's, that's that's a nice looking car. Okay, that's my favorite one. <laughs> we already saw that one before, though before. But then when I, you know, when you like look at the the comparisons, but I don't know. I, I right right now I'd say there's like three cars I like, and then like for off road ones maybe four or five that I think are pretty interesting. Um, not a fan of this design. What is this one? This is the Yang Wang U8. Um, a bigger vehicle maybe suits a big family. Um, Yang Wang U8 again. And uh, again, I like to hear what you guys think. What 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 um what kind of cars are you guys looking at? That's a nice looking car. What's this one? The Yongwang U7. Yeah, that's a nice looking car. The headlight the headlights are are unusual though. I'm not sure. And and actually, I want to go look at that Xiaomi one again. No, nah, I prefer this headlight. I prefer that. Um. Yeah. I, although on the on the red though, right behind on the behind this thing, that that does look pretty cool. It's a little bit more pointy, unless maybe it's just a different angle, I guess. Um, I mean, this isn't a terrible, terrible, but I just prefer the other one. Um, wow, God, look at all these guys. This is the Yang Wang U8. Hmm, we just saw that one already. Okay, so this must be that red one. Then this is the U9. Yeah, so this is like like really more sporty. Um, so I, I know I know some people are like really into this kind of thing. So for me, it's it's this not for me. I don't really want like this big spoiler and stuff like that. I'm sure this thing goes fast though, and uh, the, the, I mean it's impressive like all this stuff. Uh, what is this one here? 007 Zeker 007. Huh. Not bad. You know this this is um reminds me of, like an Audi or just a Porsche feeling the way that kind of rounded on 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 the sides. Not bad. And actually the um. Uh, Hyundai makes a, a, a version of a car like the, like the Ionic Five. I think has just just that kind of shape, like, or like a you know Volkswagen Bug. Just yeah, I'm just saying more rounded. So this isn't bad actually, um, with this headlights too. If if you want that, this isn't bad. I I, I think I would prefer the other cars, but I and, and but this, this isn't terrible. I'd have to yeah, not my favorite, but but not bad. We saw this we saw this minivan four when we got in the beginning. That was the the mixer one. Um, and uh, that's it. So uh, let me guys know what you think. And these are the the different cars. You can you can go to the website and you know tell me which numbers you think. But um, I'm thinking for me, yeah, the Xiaomi one's pretty good. I like that one. Let's see what else. That's not bad. That's the Volkswagen. This is pretty cool too. God, that's a lot. If you want to get that kind of car, um, you know, I'm just talking about my opinions. Yeah, the ET7. That's the Neo. I, I really want to try out Neo one of these days. That's not bad either. Yeah, that's the Neta S. Um, let's see. And I'm just looking at cars. Like I guess hey, that one's gonna have different. Um, you guys are gonna have different ones that you might like. <laughs> it's like the Cybertruck kind of, kind of feel to it. Yeah, maybe the Xiaomi is the is the one. Now that I kind of go through them again, so that's that's my opinion on this one, guys. Um, yeah, I'm thinking the Xiaomi. The other one that that's not you know in in not on the same you know picture quality as this one is also the Hondas there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Xiaomi. So, um, Hey, let me know which one you like. Um, and what do you think about these new cars? Do you think these have a, a realistic chance of, um, you know, coming to the USA someday or something like that? And are you interested in any of these? Um, you know, for me, I, I, I think more choices is always better and, uh, it's just fun to take a look at lots of different types of stuff. So thanks for watching everyone. Please share your thoughts and, uh, I'll catch you next video.